Afternoon everyone. Saturday, 12.43. Uh, good news. Car went straight through the MOT. So that's uh, happy days. So I'm now on Ivy. I'm just having a walk around and I've uh, found fish already. So uh, happy days. Spin you around and show you the swim. All right. Two sets of pads there. So this is the swim I'm going to be fishing today. Nice swim, nice size swim. Might even be able to get the bivy out the top there. Nice size swim. I've just walked in to have a look round and I've uh, just seen fish topping out here. Topping just out here, not even that far out. Literally just out here past this little weed bed here. So fish backing out. So they're probably getting in these pads as well. There's movement under there now. Lots of movement. Lots of bubbles coming through. So I think it's safe to say there's fish here. And the fact that I've just seen one with its back out. Yeah, definitely under these lilies here. Happy days, it's gonna be me till Monday. There's meant to be some good spots out here as well, out a bit further. Obviously the only trouble is getting them back through these lilies, but just have to tire them out while I'm out there. I will just quickly go and have a look up at the other swims though next door, but I think this could be me. So anyway, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Afternoon everyone, it's four o'clock and I uh, found three lovely spots out there, love, three lovely gravel spots. Coming back through some weed, so I'm just uh, having a rake out now, I'll give you a round, turn you so around. So I've uh, got my little rake. I've already done all that down there. And I'm just raking a channel back. There's a load of weed out in front here. And then there's weed in front of one of my spots, weed in front of the other spot. I've actually found three spots, but obviously I'm only going to use two and there's weed in front of it. One of my spots, I've nearly cleared the channel right through now. It's got some weed out here. There's the old weed bed all the way around. So I'm just doing that now and then I'm going to uh, set up. I'm going for the uh, bank sticks today in this swim. But I'll, uh, I'll show you all that in a bit when I'm all set up. So I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Let's get this weeding done. Hello again everyone, look, not teaching you to suck eggs, but for those of you that don't know, I'm just going to give you my little tips of how I use a rake. Obviously this is the mini rake, the mini gardener rake, you can get a bigger one, but this one's ideal really. Obviously I'm using it on 30 pound braid, but I don't use the reel or the rod strength because you just snap it. You're The worst you're going to do, snap your rod, or you're going to ruin the gearing in your reels. So. This is, how, this is what I do, obviously it's clipped up to my spots. Obviously if you're fishing really far out, you ain't gonna get, get to your spot, but at least you'll get your lay, but I can get to my spot, so. Put it out to the spot, keep it horizontal, pointing at it, real slow, because you want that rake on the floor, obviously real slow until you hit the weed like that then through that first bit I've already cleared that bit get that weed out solid now just walk backwards keeping it all level don't not using the reel not using the rod reel, reel back down all the way up, big, just going for a big bed there solid walk back forward back and when I get it in I don't lift it up using the rod I just bend down reel it up and then bend down pick up the braid lift it up put it on the bank and then empty it out best way to do it or you'll break your rod or break your reel early evening everyone don't really know what to say in the middle it's five to five it's not the afternoon it's not the evening 
early evening. So, uh, I didn't give a proper introduction earlier, did I? Welcome to Wayne's Outdoors, you outdoors freaks. Just realised that. I'm on a different session now. So, uh, we'll start like that. Anyway. There's a big pile of weed I took out. Got two spots out. Rods are on the spots. I've gone, as I said earlier, I've gone for the bank sticks today. I've gone for the old bank sticks set up today so I can get out over them pads. Just lift the tips up a bit, get out over them pads. And if I have to pass it under, if it wraps through, it'll be easier to do. So, uh, yeah, two, two baits out on the spots. The... Uh, 18mm CC more wafters with 20mm Nash Citrus bottom baits. The pink ones. So uh, I'm just gonna just gonna prepare my boilies, what I normally do. Put them out. Let's show you. get it undone can't even get the bucket bucket undone there we go all right i haven't put me uh, powder on yet just my oils it's hemp oil so that's 15 mil scopex squid and 20 mil squid and crab with uh loads of hemp oil and i'm just going to put some krill powder on it and then give them a shake up and then uh they'll be going out on the spot probably put five over each spot so uh i'll speak to you all in a bit morning everyone it's half seven just sitting here watching the water i've watched the sunrise there's a few showing out a few showing at range i haven't seen a show near my spot since last night before I went to bed, nothing in the night. So we'll keep watching. Hopefully see something in closer. Contemplating a move. This matey that's seen 21 moves today, this morning, I might contemplate a move into 21. Heard them in the night crashing a lot out here though. They're in the, they are in the area. Just hoping to see something a bit more solid. Anyway, I'll catch up with you all a bit later. Just sat here watching probably about a quarter of an hour after I spoke to you last. Just seen a couple of good shows in my water. One at probably about 18 wraps, and one probably about 14. Big tail keeps coming up out of the water. Still out there moseying about. There's like a patch of weed out there. It's like it looks like a little flat spot a patch of weed. And just a few rod lengths past that. The big tail keeps coming up out of the water. So I'll give it a couple of hours on bite time because they're coming in closer to my spots. And I'll uh, see what I can find out there. Might be a spot out there bit further out. 
to be joy in a bit. Oh, hi everyone, it's half ten. I've, uh, everything was showing more at range, like I said yesterday or this morning. So I've uh, found two spots out at 16 wraps. Uh, two nice gravel spots. So I've, uh, I've gone long. That's where everything was showing this morning out there. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've done. Two new rigs, two new spots, a good five to eight spawns over each spot. You know, on the spot and a little bit around the spot, get them grubbing about. So, fingers crossed, keep my eyes open now. I've had a good bit of disturbance for the last two hours, leading about and then spawning and Give it, a, give it a chance to settle, give it an hour or so to settle down, see if them fish move back in. So with any luck, we can have something today. I'll keep you informed, obviously, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all in a bit. Right, little update. It's literally been five minutes since I spoke to you last, so 10 minutes, quarter of an hour since I finished spawning over my new spots. The fish have already moved back into near one of my spots. I know it's hard to tell, obviously, without a marker out there, but I keep seeing a fish so literally not far from one of my spots at all. If it's not on the spot, it's not far past it. So that's a that's a good sign. So uh, with any luck, I'll move on to that bait. It's definitely not far away from it. Looks like I've done the right thing finding them spots further out. With any luck, we'll have one at some point today, if not soon. So I'll uh, continue having my breakfast and I'll speak to you in a bit. Just the dog in the mat so far. Nothing other than the dog. Bloody pest. Afternoon, everyone. It's our free little update. About 20 minutes, half hour ago. I put a good 15 spots out over the two spots. Still showing out there like every now and then, not like lots of shows, but every now and then. And uh, when I had that big one a couple of weeks ago, it was about four, around about four, just after four. So I must do an afternoon bite here as well. It's good for an afternoon, early evening bite. So I wanted to, uh, Make sure everything was done and all good out there before then. So I don't go disturbing it. So that's pretty much where I am at the minute. A little bit of a chop on the water. A bit sunny again now. It clouded over earlier and then um, clouded over earlier. And there was a few shows when it clouded over they started lumping out again we've got a bit of sun now so hopefully as the afternoon goes on and the cloud comes in they'll get their heads down just sitting here just watching really just watching the water I know my rigs are good I know my baits are good I know they eat what I've got out there here I know they like the bait, so it's just waiting for them to get on it. So that's about it for now, I think. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Hello again, it's about 10 minutes since that last video. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. You might have seen that then lumping out over, out there and again. But I've just had a show, not that one. I've just and again there's a I don't know if you can see I keep getting a show and it's literally I, that is literally my spot now the bait I've put out along that line where my spot is it's not right on my spot but it's the far right hand side where I've put bait because obviously I've spread bait about a little bit not like condensed my bait right over where my rig is I've sort of done it over a line sort of left to right over the over the uh, the spot there, over the bar that's out there, the gravel that's out there. 
and that was like the, to the right hand side of that's probably one to two rod lengths to the right of where my rig is so with any luck they'll just it will come in from the right there and they'll move along i've just seen the show just keep seeing tails up out there Hopefully you saw them two fish lump out there in the background. And if you look close enough, you probably would have seen the tail up closer in as well. It's a case of sitting and waiting now. It's getting to that, getting round to that four o'clock sort of bite time. nice for it to go now wouldn't it a live bite They're definitely out there anyway hopefully I'll be able to put you back on soon and we'll have a fish or we'll have a bit of action. Speak to you in a bit. Morning everyone, it's nine o'clock. As you can see, nearly ready to do my first run back to the car with my bed, my bivy and the dog. But I can't leave my rods in, so I'm gonna have to bring my rods out. And I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna see if 21's free. I don't know if it is. But if it is, I'm gonna jump in there for a few hours nothing in the night because I would have put money on me having one this weekend but there haven't been that many out really there's only two swims on the whole lake that have done something so yeah it's one of them lake's looking all right oh a bit misty there hang on a minute that's better. Yeah, lake's looking good. Uh, no fish for me. Oh, well that's further than seven and a half wraps. There's a seven and a half wrap limit on that swim. That's certainly further than seven and a half wraps. Anyway. Get these rods in, get round to the car, so I can have a look what's going on in the other swims. If I can't get in there, this will be hanged out. If I can, I'll speak to you in a bit.